we'll go ahead and get started. I know we've got a couple more people joining, um, but uh, first and foremost, welcome. Uh, uh, welcome to Alibi Security session on our gun detection analytic and setup management. Uh, we're excited to uh, present this solution to not only our Alibi dealers, installers, and integrators, but also we've invited uh, several uh, uh, um, individuals and end users from the uh, education uh, sector into this webinar as well as an information uh, uh, offering for them to be able to connect with some of our dealers, Alibi dealers, installers, and integrators in their area. Uh, first and foremost, introductions. Uh, my name is Bill Rogers. Uh, I'll be sort of moderating today's conversation. I've uh, been with Alibi Security for a little over 16 years, and I head up our sales organization. With this as well on this morning's training is Bryce Brendan. He's our senior inside sales specialist for all of our cloud video security offerings. And then also Jessica Kinsler, she's our inside sales specialist for our Alibi hybrid solution. And they're going to be presenting, uh, both trading off presenting uh, this presentation to you this morning. First, for those of you that uh, are new to Alibi, a little bit about Alibi security. Uh, we've been around for a little over 30 years, uh, 33 years now, and uh, we're a value added uh, uh, technology provider. Everything from video and audio surveillance, access control, cloud based video security solutions, and many, many more other items. Uh, we're heavily invested in business enablement services for our partners. If you haven't dealt long with Alibi Security, one thing you'll find out is our focus is at building partners with partnerships with our dealers. Everything from world class sales support, the individuals that you see, the, the two other individuals that you see on this uh, webinar this morning is a perfect example of that. Direct technical support uh, available U.S. to deal with, to work with our dealers. We have a professional services department, marketing services and lead generation. We have a huge marketing arm that works hand in hand with our dealers to really help enable growth in their business. Everything from spinning up websites to mailers to email campaigns. Uh, and then uh, you know a variety of uh, VSAS subscription and management services. As I said, we've been serving our dealers since 1989. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick it off to Bryce and let him cover Alibi Hybrid as a solution and give you more of an overview of what the solution is. And then we're going to turn it over to Jessica to talk more in depth about the gun analytic itself. If you have any questions, there's a Q&A feature in, uh, uh, in the navigation. If you've got questions, type those in and either myself, Jessica, or Bryce will try to respond to them and, and get back to get back to all of all of your questions by the end of the webinar. All right, Bryce, good morning. Thanks, Bill. Hey, good morning, everybody. I hope your weeks are going great so far. I wanna kind of kick off just by giving you a real brief explanation on really kind of why we brought this on board and kind of the, the purpose that it's serving for us right now. So for, you, for those of you that don't know, we actually onboarded a full cloud solution uh, first about three years ago. And great solution, but we, we were constantly getting hit up by our both our dealer partners and end users uh, for a solution that, you know, didn't necessarily have to be all or nothing cloud, but was more so of, you know, kind of like an aftermarket part that you could bolt on to existing camera infrastructure and actually take advantage of what you already have, right? Whether it's an alibi or even some non-alibi systems. So that this is really our answer to that. As we're coming back and we're saying, okay, we're going to actually help you overcome the physical limits of your, uh, you know, hardware on site without the need to rip it all out and replace it, right? So that's that's really kind of the need that we're we're fulfilling with this platform. So there's a couple of kind of key components that make up this platform. Um, Bill, if you want to go to the next slide. The first is going to be cloud backup. So this is basically going to be an insurance policy. So this is going to give you that redundant storage in the cloud. It's actually going to help you actually exceed even what's on your physical hard drive. And then you just have peace of mind knowing that, you know, if something does happen to that physical device on site, you're going to be fine because it's up stored in the cloud uh, ready for you to access. The, the second big component is going to be some built-in health monitoring. 
So this is actually uh, one of the more common pain points that we hear from both dealers and, and end users is, you know, actually knowing that your system is running when it should be running. And all too often we hear, you know, especially customers contact us and they don't actually know their system is down until they go back and try to pull an incident. And then they realize they haven't been recording for a week, right? So nobody wants that situation. Um, we get a little bit of a proactive approach to knowing that your system is actually functioning the way that it should be. And the last big component is gonna be the analytics. So this is gonna be a, a large portion of what we cover today. What we're able to do with, with the cloud is we're actually able to kind of bolt on a lot of really impressive analytics because we're actually leveraging the power of the cloud. And again, we're overcoming that physical device or devices on site being your bottleneck, right? Or being your biggest uh, limiting factor. So a couple of really notable ones that we've onboarded so far. Um, base package, you're gonna have human and vehicle detection. So basically any one or any vehicle in frame that you would care about is gonna get archived. Actually for a pretty robust time frame. by the way, guys, it's actually gonna be getting stored for six months. So almost every customer that we work with, that's actually gonna exceed their physical hard drive space. Uh, another pretty cool one we're working on right now is uh, loiter detection. So let's say you don't necessarily care about uh, a large you know, volume of people walking past that camera, but it's unusual if somebody were to stop and stay in frame for an extended period of time. You could actually get notified for those instances. Um, almost kind of along the same theme, an object left behind detection. So if you think about you know, let's say like a, a airport, for example, where people aren't supposed to be leaving luggage or, you know, a, a public event where it would be very unusual for somebody to leave a, a backpack by a, by a bench, right? Um, the camera can actually detect those types of events as well. And then really the big, the big shiny one that we're going to spend uh, the majority of the time on today is, is the gun detection, right? So I don't need to sit here and explain to you why that's an important one. Everybody understands how, how big that is. And the exciting thing about this platform is, you know, this is something that you can actually tack onto your existing system without the need for any additional physical devices. Most gun detection uh, solutions, you're going to actually be leveraging some type of physical device on site to handle that detection. And most of the time, it's actually uh, kind of reactive. So, you know, it may detect the sound of the gun, the change in the air pressure from the gunshot. What's really exciting about this detection is actually just going to use the video, right? So you can actually detect it before the first shot is fired, because, uh, you know, once that first shot is fired, you're, you're pretty much losing already. So, Bryce, what about if I'm a school and I don't have an alibi solution in place? Yeah, that's a great call out. So the exciting thing about this platform is that it actually only requires you know, like some pretty basic information from the recorder. So what's nice about that is it can pretty much pull from any device we want it to. So really, whether you've got an alibi system or a non-alibi system, all we're going to do is input some basic information from your recorder. And then from there, the cloud kind of takes over and you don't have to worry about really any physical limitations of your box, assuming that we get those you know, minimum requirements, which are very minimal. So is, it a, is this a solution that if I've got a, a, a campus or a facility with you know, 64 cameras that I have to put everything on all of those cameras or can I break this up or how does that work versus traditional cloud that you have today? So this is gonna be a lot more flexible than your traditional cloud model. With a full cloud solution, um, one of the, negative aspects is you have to basically get a cloud specific device and the cloud license for every camera that you want to bring on to the cloud platform with a hybrid platform what's great about that is number one you don't have to invest in any new hardware at all but then number two you do have the flexibility to actually pick and choose which devices you want to onboard onto a solution so and for bill's example if you had 64 cameras but the only ones you cared about were the exterior let's say let's call it 30 you could simply onboard those 30 cameras and be fine. And I did the, the easy part, kind of setting the stage. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pass it over to the, the real smart person on the call, uh, Jessica. She's gonna give you a little, little rundown of the gun detection and actually show it to you. Good morning, everyone. Thanks, Bryce. 
So glad you are all able to join us this morning. I know how valuable your time is, so I really want to make the most of it. So today we're going to talk about the gun detection analytics specifically and all of the little details that you're going to wonder about when it comes to the hybrid cloud. So a few points that I want to hit on that Bryce just did. One, you can pick the number of cameras that you want to add this to. Um, it's not an all or nothing. You can completely choose the amount that you want. But I would highly recommend getting with your Alibi dealer partner um, or myself and see what is going to work best for your system, your, um, your area. So please get with us and we can help you out with that. Um, going into the analytics. So the way that the gun detection works is going to be set up done per camera. You have the ability to do either a 12 hour option or a 24 hour option. It is totally your choice and what fits best for your building um, or your property. But the suggestions that we have done in the past for schools specifically is on the exterior cameras doing 24 hour detection or doing 12 on the interior. Again, totally your choice, but we have both options available. Now, when we get into the specifics of the analytics, the way that this works is that once the gun detection is set up onto the camera, when a weapon comes into frame, the camera will then identify the fact that a weapon has been detected. It will then send a proactive notification via text message to whoever's phone number is attached to the account. Now you may ask, how many phone numbers can I put on there? You can do unlimited. You are not restricted to a certain number. You can put as many as you want. So for example, for your school district, if you wanted to have your superintendent on there, your principal, uh, teachers, if you have any security officers on site, um, or even if you have a working relationship with local law enforcement, we can work that out as well. But you are not limited to the number of phone numbers that will be attached to the account. So for every phone number that is on there, they will receive the text message notification that a weapon has been identified. Now, what that looks like is text message will be received and it will include the video of the actual weapon being detected, as well as some screenshots of that video as well. I'm gonna show that to you guys here in just a minute, but that is kind of the basic setup of the way the gun detection works. Now, I wanna make this very, very, very clear that this is not going to do shot detection. Shot detection is great, a lot of companies out there in the world right now are doing shot detection, but by that point, we're way too late. Anybody can hear a shot going off. And once the shot goes off, panic sets in, people are not thinking clearly, and it's just all pandemonium. And we're in a very, very bad place. So the gun detection is completely designed to be proactive. We want you guys to be able to be notified prior to any shots, so that way you have time. Time is so valuable, especially when it comes to guns and children and people's lives. So we are wanting to make sure that this is completely proactive to where you have the time to go into your lockdown protocols or security protocols, whatever those may look like. Now, you may ask, if I have security guards on site, are their weapons going to be identified? Yes, however, there is a percentage of confidence that comes into the gun detection. Anything over a 90% confidence is where the proactive notifications are going to be sent. That way we have a complete positive accuracy when this comes to this gun detection. Now, your officer's weapons that are holstered, those are going to be identified, but they are going to have a lot less confidence, and so those text messages are not going to be sent. So you'll have peace of mind knowing that your phones are not just going to constantly go off every time an officer walks on site. Now, lastly here, before I start showing you this system, it is compatible with most video security systems out there. So if you do not have an alibi vigilant or witness system, please get with your local alibi dealer and let them know what you have and we can see about making that integration for you. So at this time, what I would love to do is just kind of start showing you what this is going to look like. So I'm going to start by showing you the text messages. 
Now, as I'm going to start sharing my screen with you here, we have uploaded over hundreds of thousands of different guns into this platform. So we can positively identify different types of weapons. Now we can also, I should say we, but the platform can also identify between a long range weapon and a pistol. And that's where we're gonna show you these text messages here. So I'm gonna start sharing my screen with you. Okay, Bill, can you see this? Just wanna make sure everybody can. Yes, you're good. Okay, perfect. Okay, so full transparency here. Everything that I'm about to show you um, is from a pilot that we have done with a local high school here in Austin. So um, this is the text message that someone would receive in the event that an intruder is carrying a weapon on campus. So the text message will say detection, possible gun, percentage of confidence, the camera that caught the weapon, and then below will be a blue hyperlink. The blue hyperlink is how you're going to access the video as well as the still frame shots of that video. Again, this is completely proactive. So the very second that it identifies a weapon within that camera view, it's going to send that text message. So you'll and notice- Here's that where, real quick, Jessica, and here's where, as Jessica had said earlier, seconds matter. When you click on that hyperlink, it'll take you straight to the view. There's no having to log into a CRM and having to know the password and, and doing all of that. It takes you straight to that view right then and there. So great um, call out there, Bill. So you'll notice here it says gun and then the second text message is a pistol. That's where it will identify the difference between something that you can hold in your hand or a long range. Pistols, anything you can hold in your hand, Gun is going to be your rifles, your shotguns, your ARs, anything long range there. So it will identify the difference, but it, everything that it's going to send you, the text message, the video, and the still frame shots will all be labeled with the camera name. So I tell absolutely everyone that I talk to, it is imperative to make sure that every camera is labeled properly. We want to make sure that it can easily by, be identified where this person is since it's going to tell you which camera. So we don't want camera one, camera two, camera three. That is not going to help you. We want to make sure that it's going to be easy to identify so that way you guys have much better timing and more knowledge of what's going on. So now I'm going to go ahead and move into showing you the video and what that would look like as well as the still frame shots. So we're going to go ahead and do that here. So this video that you're seeing was done from a prior presentation. However, as soon as he starts walking with that weapon, there's a pink box around it. That is the analytic positively identifying that we have a gun. Now, this video is what's going to be sent via text message. So this is what you're going to have access to as soon as you receive that text. Now, again, completely proactive prior to any shots going off. And this is so, so, so valuable with what's going on in our world right now. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the still frame shots of the video look like. So you can do this off the platform itself um, at a later date, but this will also be sent um, via that text message. So when we go into the, the screenshots, it's going to start with the very first frame. And as we scroll, it's going to just do a still frame shot of this video. So these will be able to be accessed via that text from your cell phone, as well as those video clips. But again, it's going to have the date, the timestamp and the labeling of the camera. Now, another very important thing that I tell absolutely everybody when it comes to gun detection is making sure that you have proper coverage on your property. So one, that's making sure that you have your camera set up with the correct angles. We don't want the camera aiming directly downward. That's not going to help you. We wanna make sure that it has a very clear view of what it's looking at. So that way when it come, that intruder comes into frame, it'll be able to easily identify. But again, we wanna make sure that you have proper coverage on 
on your property because the reason being is we don't want one camera on one side of the building detecting gun, one camera on the opposite end and nothing in between because your chances of getting alerts is going to be that one time that it comes into camera view and sometimes not even that if it's not on that proper camera. So we wanna make sure that we have as many cameras as possible that are going to detect the weapon because for every time that person crosses in front of a different camera, it will send a new notification every time. It will essentially track that person as they move within the property and you'll have more knowledge to find out where they are and have a better chance of safety. So this is very, very valuable when we are talking about what is going on in America right now. The amount of gun violence is just increasing. I, I don't understand it. I don't have an answer for it. But us as Alibi Security, our whole job is to make sure that our communities are safer, smarter, and more secure. And with this technology, we have the ability to help you and your people do that. So Jessica, talk a little bit about what's the process. So I have a, whether it's a new install or an existing install, I have my alibi vigilance system and I want to add hybrid onto that system, which will enable the human, the vehicle, the loitering object left behind and, and ultimately gun detection. How does that process work? Great question. So we can do this for any existing customer who has a system as well as any future customer as well. So what that looks like is um, if you aren't currently working with an alibi dealer, um, please let us know, call into our, our sales line and we can find you somebody that's in your area or call into our super circuits line and they will help you out as well. But it's very easy. Get with us, we will help you onboard your system with all of the specifications that you would like, whether that be just your basic package of your vehicle um, person and bicycle detection, as well as the gun detection. The gun detection is very easy. If you already have a system that you're happy with, with some sort of backup, we can just add on this feature as well. But it's very simple, get with us, let us know what kind of system that you have, and we will very easily work with you on getting that set. And what's great about this, and, and, and we'll do a, Jessica's able to do more of a um, in-depth dive for you and in a demonstration more specific to what your needs are, but you have access to a dashboard uh, as a dealer that you can go on and enable these uh, as you're doing the install or as you're going in and doing the retrofit um, and adding on this analytic. You, one of the great things is you don't have to call in, have us go in, enable it for you, having to go through that whole process. You can do it yourself. And then we just pull the data off on the back end as far as billing and things like that. So that really streamlines the process for your ability to go in and add this analytic tool on. And then what we do is, is once we enable the analytic, uh, if it's gun detection, we enable the analytic. There's a, then there's an onboarding process that our um, uh, that our technology partner will work with you on on onboarding this solution into uh, as far as you know uh, putting in the email addresses and the phone numbers, uh, uh, you know uh, tweaking the system for views of the cameras and things like that. There's more of a for the gun detection piece, there's more of an in-depth onboarding process to ensure accuracy. As we said, the key to a solution like this is accuracy. So we wanna make sure that we've got a technology partner uh, uh, with the dealer and with the school district that we can work with in that onboarding process. For the other analytics, it's, it's basically turn and burn. You turn it on, it's ready to go. Uh, so, you know, more to come on that when, when Jessica reaches out to you and, and does a one-on-one -on -one demo. Um, other than that, let's see, we've got another couple of questions here. Uh, if I connect, if I connected, if I'm connected to the NVR, then where does the storage uh, live? It lives in the cloud. It's a cloud-based analytics. So even though you have an on-premise recorder, you're still, uh, the storage of the 
back up and it's backing up um, uh, six months worth of storage. It's backing uh, uh, for vehicle human detection, loitering, all of those analytics. It's backing it all up to the cloud. Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, and Bryce already answered uh, the other one. Let's see if there's some other ones here. Um, the great uh, thing about the hybrid cloud guys is the fact that you do not have to change anything you have done up until this point. If you have a system that you are totally happy with and all you want to do is add the hybrid cloud onto, please let us know and we'll be more than happy to work that out for you. But it does not require any additional hardware. You do not have to change out your existing system. We want to make this as easy and user-friendly as possible. Now, of course, if you aren't happy with the system that you have and would like to upgrade, please let us know and we can absolutely help you out with that as well. Uh, Bryce, you answered this one. Um, so I'll, I'll read it out to everybody because it's a good one for you to, to answer. Uh, would you need to upgrade uh, our NVR to your product in order to utilize AI analytics, uh, specifically gun detection, or can we use our existing hardware? Yeah, so again, one of the really most powerful parts about this platform is that you, you really don't need to be sending a whole lot of complex data to the cloud in order for us to utilize this system. So instead of utilizing your NVR, which you can think of as like a computer, right? Instead of leveraging like one computer, we're leveraging the cloud, which is basically like hundreds of computers, right? So as long as your NVR is able to get that super basic information to the cloud, which if you've got an NVR, it can do that, you're going to be okay. Uh, and let's see here. I think we answered most of the questions. Uh, additionally, let me go back and share my screen here. Uh, let's see here, either Bryce or Jessica, as far as uh, recommendations around uh, range or distance for, for the gun detection analytic to work. Yeah, that's a great question. So the range and distance is going to have a lot to do with the resolution of the camera that you have. Um, typically, if you have around a two megapixel camera, you're going to get about 40 feet. And then it just kind of increases from there. Um, but there's a lot of more factors that go into um, the range of view of what it can do as far as the um, detection for that gun. So resolution is part of it. Um, the coverage of the camera, making sure that it, it's completely clear of um, any sort of blockage or anything of that nature. So there's a lot more details that go into it. But um, just let us know what you have and we can definitely help you. And just add a little bit more color to that. Every uh, every single onboarding session that we have with a gun detection customer goes through a very one-on-one -on -one integration process. Because when you're working with something as high stakes as a gun detection, obviously we don't want to just you know paint everybody with one brush and and assume that it works perfectly out of the box, right? So we actually take you through a process where we we you know we'll help you through an inventory. Say okay. Maybe we need to change this camera angle a little bit, right? Maybe we need to bump this camera up a little bit. So it it, it is a little bit involved, and um, we uh, want it to work specifically for your environment. So that is a part of the process. So Jonathan's asking, will the NVR need access, outside access of the network for the cloud? So currently, uh, uh, for the analytic, you'll need to open up two ports, and we'll walk you through that. We're within this quarter of having P2P. So within the next few months, uh, uh, we'll have the option for you to uh, access the analytic via P2P, just as you would with, with most of the standard recorders. Currently right now, you still you don't have to open up all three ports, but you do have to open up a couple of ports, which we can walk you through. Um, let's see, another question. Will this integrate with access control systems to initiate uh, building lockdown? Not currently specifically for several different reasons, liability reasons, things like that. Um, uh, it's it's uh, on the future of the roadmap and it's really based off of feedback from uh, our end users and our dealers as far as the needs that they're looking for. Uh, here, Bryce or Jessica, does internet speed matter with gun detection? So if I had 10 cameras that are all four meg megapixels, uh, are they all streaming to the cloud server uh, 
uh, is a high upload speed necessary? So you don't need that high of an upload speed because the information that the cloud is going to require from that recorder is very minimal. So we aren't going to take your mainstream from your cameras. We're going to take what's called the substream, or some people call it the RTSP stream. So basically what that stream does is it uh, sends a kind of like a dumbed down version so that the cloud can make those decisions without needing to bog down your network. So some upload speed is required, but it's not going to be that intensive in comparison to pulling the mainstream. Uh, Anthony is asking, do you have literature as it relates to the onboarding? Yes, we're uh, by the end of this week, we'll have loaded on your uh, 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 it, on your dealer login on the Alibi Security website that uh, uh, a playbook that walks you through uh, Alibi Hybrid, the uses of the application, selling the solution, supporting the solution, and uh, also for the gun detection piece, the onboarding process to help walk you through that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we've got one last question. How easy is it to use this on monitoring stations as far as law enforcement and public uh, safety systems? That would really kind of fall onto more of your um, normal operating system, more so than the hybrid component. Hybrid is really meant to be an addition to your system, not necessarily to take over everything. So if you're thinking more of like a live monitoring scenario or maybe like a secure display station, a lot of that load is probably going to fall in your normal operating system. Uh, and then the hybrid will really just add the benefits of the backup, the health monitoring, and the analytics with the proactive notification kind of in addition to what you've already got. And it looks like that's, that's some great questions, really good questions. Um, uh, it looks like that's all the questions. Additionally, you know, as as you've heard me preach many, many times in this webinar, and and all of our team members have have preached in our webinars, utilize our YouTube channel. We're uploading tips and tricks, uh, features and benefits, installation, webinars, educational videos to our YouTube channel every single week. You and your uh, your owners, your installers, your your integrators, your support team should have our YouTube channel subscribed to and have that notification bell click so that you're notified when new videos are loaded as we're uploading videos uh, every single week to help people not only understand the feature and benefits of the pro products, but for you to send to your end users on, on how to program the client, uh, all of our webinars and our training videos are all loaded on our YouTube channel as well. Uh, let's see here. Lastly, if you're um, uh, if you have a dedicated man man account manager or if you don't, give us a call. And as Jessica said, we will uh, get you synced with the dedicated account manager if you don't already have one. And and Jessica and her group are going to be working on doing demos. They'll walk you through specific to your use cases, cases that you're looking for, for your facility or for your install or for you, the solution that you're looking for. Uh, we'll walk through on, on really doing a one-on-one -on -one demo more in depth with you. But we encourage you to reach out to us and, and let us walk you through the solution. Fantastic. Well, that pretty much covers it. We want to thank everybody for taking the opportunity to join us uh, this morning to quickly walk through our gun detection analytic. We'll be reaching out to each of you with a follow-up email, a follow-up phone call to make sure we've answered all your questions. We, we thank you again for joining us, and we'll see you on the next webinar. Take care. Have a great day.